Join me, let's solve for the four solutions of this particular equation, all right? Now, uh, we have x plus 1 plus 1, right? I want this to be in this form. I want this to be in this form, sorry. So this sentence has x plus 1 plus 1 raised to the power of 4 plus x plus 1 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 17. Now, we have x plus 1, x plus 1. So let's simplify this equation and say let x plus 1 be equal to y. All right? Now, if we make that statement, then this particular place becomes y plus 1 raised to the power of 4 plus y raised to the power of 4, all right, is equal to 17. Now, this y plus 1 raised to the power of 4 can be written as what? y plus 1 raised to the power of 2, everything raised to the power of 2 again, right? Yes, because according to the law of indices, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. And in this case, 2 times 2 will give us 4 back. All right? Okay. Now, plus y raised to the power of 4 is equal to 17. Now, y plus 1 to the power of 4, we are going to use the law of uh, the algebraic identity that states that a plus b raised to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, sorry, plus 2ab, okay? So we are going to use this here. We are going to express this in this form. So if we do that, it's going to be y squared, right? So it's going to be y squared plus 1 squared, which will still give us 1, plus 2 times y times 1, which is 2y. All right, raise the power of these two, okay? Plus y to the power of 4 is equal to 17. All right, we have another identity. Now, a plus b plus c raised to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. Okay, so this is what you will have if you open this bracket. All right, so we are going to relate this in this form, okay? So to do that, we are going to have, let me do it here, since we are going to have a long division. Let's we'll start from there. So we have y squared plus 1 plus, since this is too high, y squared plus 1 plus 2y all squared plus y to the power of 4 is equal to 17. Okay. Now, like I said, we are going to expand the way I just expand, explained. So it's going to be y squared raised to the power of 2 plus 1 squared plus c squared, that is 2y raised to the power of 2, plus 2ab, that is 2 multiplied by our a is y squared and our b is 1, plus 2bc, that is 2 multiplied by our b is 1 and our c is 2y. Plus 2ac, that is 2 multiplied by our a is y squared, and our c is 2y. All right, plus y to the power of 4 is equal to 17. So let's open the brackets. So this will give us y to the power of 4 plus 1 plus what? 2 squared will give us 4, and this will give us y squared. Plus this will give us 2y squared. Plus this will give us 4y. Plus this will give us 4. Then y to the power of 2 times y will give us y to the power of 3. Since a to the power of x uh, multiplied by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y, right? So in this case, we have 2. We have 2 times 2, which is 4. Then y to the power of 2 multiplied by y to the power of 1 will give us y to the power of 3. All right, perfect. Plus y to the power of 4 is equal to 17. Now, it's time to collect like terms. We have y to the power of 4. We have y to the power of 4. So it's going to be 2y to the power of 4. Plus, uh, we have 4y to the power of 3. That's all. So we are going to write 4y to the power of 3. Plus, now we are going to square. 
4y squared plus 2y squared, that should be 6y squared plus 6y squared plus, now we have um, 4y, only one 4y, right? Plus 4y. Then plus 1 is equal to 17. Now, this is what we have, all right? Now, we need to factorize this. To factorize this, we need a linear equation and a cubic polynomial. So, to get the first equation, which is going to be linear, we're going to use try and error to solve for y. Then use synthetic method to get the polynomial, right? So, if we do that, if we substitute the value of y to be equal to 1, let's see if this will work. So, it's going to be 2 plus 4, which is 6. 6 plus 6, which is 12. 12 plus 4, which is 16. 16 plus 1, which is 17, right? So it means that y is equal to 1. Is what? A factor. Is a root, all right? Now, that means that we are going to use this y equal to 1 to divide through to get the cubic polynomial. So we are going to write 1 here. Then we are going to write out the coefficients of this particular polynomial so we are going to have two we have four we have six we have four oh lest i forget to get our this thing to get our constant we need to equate this this uh, fraction we need to equate this equation to zero okay so to do that let's clean this first it's going to be two y to the power of four plus four y to the power of three plus 6y squared, plus 4y. Now, this 17 we crossed into this place to become minus 17, right? And 1 minus 17 will give us minus 16. is equal to 0. So, this simply means that our constant is minus 16, all right? And we said our y is equal to 1. So, our y is equal to 1. Then, let's use the synthetic division to get the other factor. So, we have 1... And it's going to divide the coefficients, which are 2, 4, 6, 4, and minus 16. So we are going to bring these two down. Okay. Now, 1 times 2 will give us 2. We add 4 plus 2 will give us 6. 1 times 6 will give us 6. 6 plus 6 will give us 12. 1 times 12 will give us 12. 4 plus 12 will give us 16. 1 times 16 will give us 16. Minus 16 plus 16 will give us 0. So this actually shows that this is what a root. All right. Now this is, uh, this is going to form a cubic polynomial. So what does this mean? This simply means that... Now this simply means that this is y equal to 1, right? Simply means that y minus 1 is equal to 0, okay? So this implies that y minus 1, if this crosses, is equal to 0. So this is a factor. So we are going to have that y minus 1, y minus 1, multiplied by, then this is our cubic polynomial. So this is going to be 2y to the power of 3, okay, plus 6y squared, plus 12y squared, sorry, plus 12y, then plus 16. Now, everything is equal to zero, okay? All right, now let me stay here so that we can see what I'm doing. Now, this is what we have. Now, we have two, uh, two equations here. The first one is that y minus one is equal to zero. The second one is that two y to the power of three plus six y squared plus 12 y plus 16 is equal to zero. So from here, we have that y is equal to this, we cross to become positive one. But recall that, recall that we said let x plus 1 equal to y. Sorry, I cleaned that. We made that statement, right? We said x plus 1, we equated it to be y. So this is where we started to simplify this equation. So if we um, substitute x plus y for our y, right? So we have x plus 1 is equal to 1. That means that our x is equal to 1 minus 1, which will give us what? 0. So this becomes the first value of our x. We still have 3 to go, but it's actually easy to get there. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on the subscription button and do on your notification bell. 
so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, thank you. Now let's go to this side. This side we have a polynomial. Okay, now to factorize this, you are going to repeat this statement so that we get a linear equation like this and a quadratic equation this time around. Now we are going to, if you substitute so many things. Your trial and error, if you put y, if you substitute y to be equal to minus 2, you are going to notice that it's going to go through with the solution. So y is equal to minus 2. Because if we do that, that means 2 bracket minus 2 to the power of 3 will give you minus 8, right? Plus 6 bracket minus 2 squared will give you 4. Plus 12 bracket minus 2, okay? Plus 16. Let's see if this will give us 0, but it will. So this is 2 times minus 8 is minus 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 12 times minus 2 is minus 24. Plus 16 is equal to 0. So notice that plus 24 and minus 24 we cancel. Minus 16 plus 16 is 0. So definitely y is equal to minus 2 is what is also a root. Now let's continue. So since we have y to be equal to 2, Let's use synthetic division again, just like we did there, to get our quadratic equation, okay? So let's go. Now, we are going to write minus 2, and we are going to use it to divide this. So the um, coefficients are what? We have 2, we have 6, we have 12, and we have 16. So we are going to bring down 2, okay? So we are going to bring down these two. Now, minus 2 times 2 will give us minus 4. And when you add... Oh, this is so small. Sorry about that, please. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, so let's continue. So like I said, we are going to bring down these two. Okay. Now, minus 2 times 2 will give us minus 4. Now, 6 minus 4 will give us, that is when you add, 6 minus 4 will give you positive 2 again. Now, minus 2 times 2 will give you another minus 4. 12 plus minus 4 will give you 8. Now, minus 2 times 8 will give you minus 16. 16 minus 16 will give you 0. So, this becomes our what? Our quadratic equation. Okay, so if y is equal to minus 2, this implies that y plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is actually a, this thing, this becomes a factor. So y plus 2 multiplied by, let's write this out. So this should be 2y squared, 2y squared plus 2y, 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. All right. Now, we have two equations here that y plus 2 is equal to 0 and that 2y squared plus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, from here, we have that y is equal to minus 2, right? Now, recall that our y is x plus 1, right? Is equal to minus 2. So, our x becomes minus 2. This plus 1 we cross to become minus 1. So, minus 2 minus 1 will give us minus 3. So, this becomes our x2, all right? Recall that we are looking for four values of x and we have found two. Now, this is our um, equation, quadratic equation. Let's divide through by two to make it simpler. If we divide through by two, we have y squared plus y plus what? Four is equal to zero. All right. Now, at this point, what do we do? If you look at this, notice that by factorization, it will be very hard. So we are going to use the quadratic equation formula. Which states that to get this value of y is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, in this case, our a is 1, right? Our b is also 1, the coefficient of y, while our c is 4. So, this implies that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared, which is 1 minus 4 times a, 4 times 1 times 4, which is 16, divided by 2a, 2 times 1, which is 2. 
So this implies that our y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 15 divided by 2. So this implies that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of... Now what we have here is plus 15 and minus 1, right? So square root of plus 15, okay, multiplied by square root of minus 1 will give us i. So it's going to be minus 1 plus or minus square root of 15i divided by 2. Now we can write this as what? That y is equal to minus 1 over 2, right? Now minus 1 divided by 2 will give us minus 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and write that. So we have minus 0 0.5 plus or minus square root of 15i divided by 2, okay? All right. Now, let's find the remaining values. Thank you so much for watching to this step. If you actually did, please give me a thumbs up and tell me that you did. Just write you did in the comment section. And I'll be so glad to see that, okay? Now, I want to remember the first value of our x, which is 0. So let me write it somewhere before cleaning. Now, this is it. We are very close to the solution. Now, if you look at this, we have that y is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 plus or minus square root of um, 15i raised to the power of 2 um, divided by 2. So, recall that our x is x plus y. So, y is x plus y. So, we have x plus 1 is equal to minus 0 0.5 plus or minus square root of 15i divided by what? Divided by 2. So that means that our x is equal to, this one we cross to become minus 1. So minus 1 minus 0 0.1 will be minus 1.5, right? Plus or minus square root of 15i divided by 2. Now, therefore, our x3 becomes minus 1.5 plus root 15i divided by 2, while the remaining one, which is our x4, is minus 1.5 minus square root of 15i, everything divided by 2. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.